text is crisp and easy to read. Browsing the internet feels new. And Safari expands so you can see all your open tabs. When it comes to technology, the two biggest names on the market are none other than Apple and Meta. From developer platforms to AI platforms, the two companies have been competing for years and now the competition is getting even stronger because now they have both stepped foot into the AR space, both with strong prospects. With the launch of Meta's Orion AR glasses, there's one question on everyone's mind. Did Meta just kill Apple's vision and take over the AR space? Getting into Apple Vision Pro. Before going any further and comparing the two, let's talk about the two in detail and understand exactly what they can do, starting off with Apple Vision Pro. For many years, Apple has stuck with one major opinion. From CEO Tim Cook to the entire corporation below, they insist that augmented reality has a much more valuable future than virtual reality ever did. For a company that has so much trust in AR, of course, they have been working towards AR for a long time. And finally, in February of this year, they launched their AR headset, Vision Pro. This was Apple's first attempt at using all its impressive AR ideas in the past and combining them to build a whole computer, a computer that doesn't work on a screen, but in the space around you. The end goal? Apple wanted a device that is complete and can work alongside the Mac or the iPad and let the user get any work done. From using Excel or Slack to watching movies on a gigantic 4K display to browsing in space, Apple Vision Pro was a fantastic development and the company itself described it as the start of spatial computing. But as amazing as it sounds, how come the hype just fully died down from the release in February to now in November? Don't get me wrong, for the first few weeks or maybe a month, the headset did get a whole lot of hype, but it simply didn't last. And that is because the headset came up with some major trade-offs, the biggest of which was the high price. The world was definitely impressed with the Apple Vision Pro, but is anyone ready to pay $3,500 for an entirely new technology? Not really. I mean, let's be real. $3,500 is steep. But here's the thing with Apple. Even the iPhone everyone has in their hand now didn't start off being as big as it is right now. It took a whole lot of fine-tuning and pricing adjustments before it became popular all around. And maybe the same was required for Vision Pro time and improvement. But then Mark Zuckerberg came along and ruined Apple's plans. Meta Orion driving the competition. Just like Apple, Meta has been interested in the R space for a long time. In fact, did you know Orion has been in development for almost a decade? And just like Vision Pro, Orion has one major goal bridging the virtual and physical world to step into the era of R and replacing the current computing platforms. So, to achieve this goal, Meta finally announced their all-new Orion, which they described as the most advanced pair of AR glasses ever made that can do a whole lot of stuff, including gaming. Meta Orion is almost like wearing a mini computer on your face that acts like your personal assistant, which is somewhat like Vision Pro. You have virtual screens in the space around you and you can interact with them directly. But Orion took it a step further when Meta announced the seamless integration of these glasses with their custom-built A Assistant. Meta Eye something that Apple was still in the process of doing with Apple Intelligence. Integration with Meta AI means you not only have a computer around you, but you can also ask an AI for help with anything happening around you. Need recipes based on what's in your fridge? Forgot where you parked your car and need to remember the exact parking spot? For example, take a look at this pretty insane clip of Orion detecting the ingredients in front of it and then providing the best smoothie recipe with those ingredients. Orion can help you with everyday tasks like these, all while letting you perform any work tasks or watch movies in the space around you, like Vision Pro. But at the end of the day, both Vision Pro and Orion have their own fair share of strengths and weaknesses. So let's compare the features of the two and crown the true king of AR. Comfort and design, a comparison. Let's kick off this comparison with the exterior of the two. Which one has a better and more comfortable design? In this regard, Orion might be the clear winner. Vision Pro has a very bulky design because it's not a pair of glasses, but rather it's a complete headset. You know how when you put some pair of headphones on and you hear Bluetooth mode activated. Well, putting on Vision Pro should say ruining hair mode activated because trust me, every time you put it on or take it off, you have to get ready to ruin your hair. And because of this bulky design, 
design, it's also not very comfortable when it comes to long-term use. But on the other hand, Orion is a pair of glasses that resemble traditional and trendy eyewear. Eta makes use of lightweight materials like magnesium for the frames and silicon carbide for the lenses, due to which the glasses only weigh less than 100 grams. Meta's approach was more focused on superimposing digital content, while Apple wanted to focus on a fully virtual environment, which is why they went with a bulky headset design. But of course, if you're looking for comfort and a lightweight design, Orion is the clear winner for you. But, of course, that's not all that decides the winner. Display and resolution. Who wins? When it comes to display technology, though, the win isn't exactly tipped in Meta's favor. In the case of Orion, we have a 70-degree field of view and micro-LED projectors that can overlay holograms directly on our line of sight through the lenses. This achieves a much more seamless integration of digital elements into the real world. But the downside? The current resolution of Orion is only limited to 12 pixels per degree. Compare that to Vision Pro's 25 pixels per degree, and the difference is insane. Because of this, Vision Pro provides much sharper visuals and a much more immersive experience. And isn't that pretty much the whole point of R? Comparing user control and interaction. Other than display, another important point to be considered is how smooth the user control and interaction is. Well, in the case of Orion, the interaction happens through a neural wristband. This wrist wristband can interpret your hand gestures without relying on any camera to see what you're doing. This wristband is pretty cool, considering it can let you select items or scroll through the content easily. Also, for navigation, Orion also makes use of eye tracking, thus making the user experience even more responsive. On the other hand, for Vision Pro, it relies on a smart combination of hand gestures, voice commands, and eye tracking for user control. Picking one winner in this category isn't exactly easy. On the one hand, Vision Pro has a very smooth interaction system, and without any additional hardware, you can use voice commands, or eyes, or hands. It's pretty effective. But the only downside for Vision Pro is the fact that it relies on visual feedback for hand gestures, something Orion doesn't need thanks to their intuitive gesture-based system. Battery life, which lasts longer. While comparing the features of Vision Pro and Orion, it is important that we also focus on which one has a longer battery life. If we try to assume the answer, considering current computing systems, we might think Apple will have a shorter battery life. And even though I don't agree with the assumption, I can't really argue because your assumption is right. For Vision Pro, the battery life is up to two hours, but Orion can last up to three hours. Difference in applications. There are clear differences between Orion and Vision Pro, and that is simply because they were designed for different than applications. For example, the aim of Apple with their Vision Pro is to develop a versatile device that is capable of handling many different applications, all from work to entertainment, while providing a fully immersive environment for the user. On the contrary, Meta's vision with Orion was to create a tool that is primarily for communication and interaction with AI in the real world, engaging in video calls with holograms, receiving contextual information based on the applications like these are where Orion truly shines. So, yes, Apple might have a high-resolution display higher than any other AR headset on the market, but Meta has that everyday convenience factor. That's why Orion might have a broader appeal, considering it integrates seamlessly into our daily life. How can a comparison be complete without addressing the elephant in the room? So, for what you guys have all been waiting for, which one actually costs more? The answer might shock you, because as we know, Vision Pro's high price tag of $3,500 was the main reason it didn't really get as popular as it could have been. Well, to make matters worse, right now, Orion's cost of production per unit is actually a whopping $10,000. But the Meta team is working on fine-tuning and decreasing this cost before they finally launch Orion into the market. So let's see where we end up. Which one wins? So at the end, the question remains, which is the winner? Well, the major difference is that Apple is debating their next step to make Vision Pro more applicable for daily life. But Meta has already taken the step because with Orion, the limits of what AR can do are reaching a whole new limit. So, if we're talking about the current usability of the two, Orion is definitely on top, at least in my opinion. But considering the current cost of production, I'm waiting to see just what price they finally announce when launching into the market. But either way, no matter which one is better right now, there's one thing for sure, both of them will evolve and get better. And with it, the way we interact with digital content is going to change forever. But as both evolve, the way we interact with digital content will completely change. From Apple fine-tuning its Vision Pro to meta-wowing everyone
one with Orion demos, it's clear we're entering a new era of computing. Sure, it might take time to catch on like regular computers did, but that's how innovation rolls, right? The future of AR is full of potential, and if you're intrigued, check out my video on how Meta's Orion AR glasses could replace smartphone. Let's dive into what's next. So, what do you think? Are Apple and Meta redefining AR competition? Comment below with your take, and for more on where AR is headed, hit subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss this journey.